Hello there, my intern trainees. I'm often asked this question by a lot of people who want to improve their work or business, right? Mentor Myron, I want to be busy. I want to be productive. I want to be able to do a lot of things. I want to be able to manage my time. So could you please teach me or train me on time management? And then I always go, buddy, bro, sis, my friend, there is no such thing as time management. Nobody can manage time. Let me prove that to you. Remember when we were still studying and our math teacher or professor taught us the difference between a constant and a variable. That a constant is, it is what it is. It's a given, it's fixed, there's nothing we can do about it. It's just at our disposal, right? Whereas a variable is something that we can modify, manipulate, or influence. It's changeable, right? So going back to time, is time a constant or a variable? My immediate answer to that is time is a constant. Right? Every single day, we only have 24 hours a day. There's nothing we can do about it. It is what it is. It's always going to be the same every single day unless somebody changes time, right? So now, can we really manage time, which is a constant? No, we cannot. So instead of forcing ourselves to manage time, which we cannot do, what we can manage instead, though, would be ourself. But the question here is, how do we manage ourself? Hi. My name is Mentor Myron Santana, and I'm going to share with you four actionable tips on how we can manage ourselves so we can set our priorities straight. My first tip would be manage your sleeping time. Okay, let me get ahead of you on this. Maybe some health practitioners or medical experts are going to get mad at me when I say this. All right, but let me just clarify that I don't want to sound or come across as if I am promoting sickness or illness or I want you guys to punish yourself or be harsh on your, on your body, right? No, but what I'm just saying is that if you really wanna be busy or productive, we really need to maximize our available limited time, which is 24 hours. So how can we do that? Are we just gonna spend our time sleeping? Are we just gonna spend our time being still and doing nothing? Are we just gonna spend our time resting? The reason it's called work is we really need to stand up, go out there and work, right? And the reason it's called business is from busyness, we really need to be busy with something or be productive with something, right? So here's my tip for you. You need to be able to wake up earlier than usual and sleep later than usual, but without sacrificing your health. So you really need to monitor your health, both your mind and your body to ensure that even though you're working really hard by really maximizing or taking advantage of your hours every single day, that you are not sacrificing your health. You're not frequently getting down with illness, okay? So manage your sleeping time. My second tip for you guys to be able to manage yourself better and maximize your time, not manage it, but maximize your 24 hours a day would be categorize your tasks. We are so fast to, or we have this tendency to just sit down, roll our sleeves up and just do anything we, 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 we can think of, right? No, it doesn't work like that. Before you roll your sleeves up and start your day, you need to be able to determine what your tasks are gonna be, what you need to be busy or productive with. So make it a habit to first think of what you're gonna do and you have to line them up or sequence them in such a way that you determine what goes first, what goes second, what goes third, so on and so forth, and then last. And you also need to be very critical about which among them are most important, more important, just important, and then lesser or least important. Once again, if you really wanna be busy or productive, you need to be organized about your tasks, their sequence in terms of importance, and of course, sequence in terms of chronological order, okay? So categorize your tasks. Next, once you're able to categorize your tasks, okay, you need to be able to, number three, allocate your time wisely. So we don't manage time. We maximize it. We maximize it by allocating our time wisely to our activities set on a certain day or vice versa, okay? Making it a point that we determine what activities really matter and segregating or distributing them in our limited time. So what I mean by that is, for example, right? You wake up at nine in the morning and then you're all set to work, right? So. What are you going to do or be busy and productive with between 9 and 10? Now, between 10 and 12. And then, of course, you're going to enjoy your one-hour meal break from 12 to 1. And then afterwards, what are you going to do from 1 p.m. onwards? Right? So that's what I mean 
by allocating your time wisely. You need to be very critical of not only what you're gonna do, but how many time you're gonna dedicate to each one of these activities or tasks, all right? So last but not least, so that you can manage yourself and your priorities better, okay, because there's no such thing as time management is you have to discipline yourself. You know what, two of our, two of our top enemies, all right, that uh, keep us from really being able to do a lot of things and be really being able to be busy or productive would be consistency and of course discipline all right so when you set your eyes on a goal and you determine what activities you need to be busy with to achieve that goal or those goals okay you need to discipline yourself you need to zoom in on the accomplishment of those tasks and you need to stay away from distractions okay so discipline is something that you really need to have. Be consistent, be constant. If somebody who is a distraction will mess up with the rhythm of your work, then learn to say no, all right? Or make an arrangement or negotiate with that person. If there is a miscellaneous or unnecessary activity that will get in the way of the accomplishment of the most important priorities you have set your eyes on, then critique them or criticize them to ensure that you are not gonna be derailed on your track to success. So there you go, guys. These are my four workable, practical, actionable tips on how you can manage yourself because once again, let me reiterate this. I'll keep on emphasizing this. There is no such thing as time management. Nobody can manage time. You can only manage yourself and what you do or keep yourself busy with in your limited time. Thank you so much if you appreciate this value then uh, you want me to train your employees on how they can manage themselves and their priorities right and maximize or take advantage of their limited time just get in touch with my team and we're going to be with you there every step of the way onwards your trip to success